Um, definitely a hard one to find. Just a casual 1200 on that set. Oh well. That's some really great Pyrex. All right, hi YouTube. So we are currently in Barnesville, Georgia at a antique store. So I've been here a few times, maybe like twice before. This store is pretty good. Then downtown there's like a few other little antique stores and thrift stores. So we're gonna hit it up, see what we can find. Currently after some vintage Easter. So wish me luck. Here's some of the outside. Not going too fast. <laughs> He's so cool. Honestly, really liked this planter, even though I'm pretty sure she was more modern. And this vendor always has some of the best kitsch when it comes to salt and pepper shakers. So anytime I'm in here, they always have some new ones. Granted, I will say the majority of them are full on retail, but a great collection to see nonetheless. I actually recently sold those, I think on my whatnot. Link in the bio. Again, I wasn't over exaggerating. A ton of really good shakers. Love those. I've actually sold a similar set many moons ago. And they really do keep on going. Love the little wackadoo anthropomorphic ones, obviously. I have a few sets. And speaking of one set I personally collect, we see Miss Dainty. Absolutely love her. She is 42, which is, again, right at about retail. Spaghetti poodle, so sweet. 24, I love the gray. Oh, I always love to look at some of the handkerchiefs. Some of the florals are really good. Smokey the bear. Hey guys. 20, oh, I don't have this one. I mean, I'm kicking that. myself right now for not picking that up. Granted, I would have had to get a frame, but should have. I might just end up going back. Did spot that cute little like bear. Couldn't really figure out what year he was made. Got some Madame Alexander dolls, which honestly I will say I never end up picking up. Velvet print, painting. Oh, I love the fruit magnets. I actually have some mini versions in my own collection. I think they're $5 each. They do have some pretty cute planters that are discounted. Little Southern Belle pig. This one's kind of sweet too. Oh, I kind of like the squirrel. Sorry if the audio is kind of janky at this portion. The music was really loud, so tried to maneuver around it. Spot a lady head vase and a ton of glass. Oh my gosh, even spot some uranium and some Pyrex, of course. And what do we spot? Even more salt and pepper shakers. Love the cute little poodles. And these old stock toys would have been perfect with the marathon I recently did. I absolutely love these little violin shakers. I had never seen those before, but I liked how one was crying. <laughs> it always pulls up my heartstrings if anything is sad. Loved this little like cutting board. Definitely at the right price. Not too sure of the year though. Now we are currently downstairs where it looks like they have a bunch more glassware and kitchen trinkets. Kind of more of the farmhouse-ish style. Which I'm just gonna step away from. Now I did see these wonderful shakers. Haven't ever seen these before. Again, pretty much at about retail, not knowing too much about them. But Again, if you are on the hunt for some cute shakers, highly, highly recommend this stop. 
I will say I love an antique store that takes the time and energy to really put effort into their displays, which it really shows. Also, I was so tempted to pick these shakers up for myself. Uh, didn't end up doing it, but they were really cute nonetheless. Even the little fish were really cute. And I did spot these little wooden magnetic ones, which I've actually sold in pink before. And hardly do you ever see little giraffe salt and pepper shakers. Again, another set I have never seen before. Love the little pigs. I did want to note we are currently at another antique store I popped into. Did spot this Barbie. So here's the downtown Barnesville. It's very, very small, but very cute, honestly. All right, so now we are at Forsyth Antiques and more. Pretty large building, uh, mix of like newer and older here. So usually end up coming out with a handful of stuff. So let's see what we can find. Yeehaw. So yeah, I like you can see, just a mix. a very large sized store. I haven't been in here in quite some time, honestly. I think I've only really been in once before, but I already found two pieces, which I'm excited about. Definitely, oh my gosh, this Elvis, what in the heck? <laughs> He's really cool. Yeah, but they have some really great antiques. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. Definitely beautifully displayed. Cabinet. Some very grand pieces for sure. Figurines. A red bowl is pretty cool, honestly. 
Pew pew. We'll pick him up for sure. Jeez. Um, definitely a hard one to find. Just a casual 1200 on that set. Oh well. We have some really great Pyrex. I can't really make that out. Oh, a thousand. Okay, well. Huh. See these guns all too often. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This one's 150. Yeah. Love those. like a squeak. Cute. She's pretty cool. Poor pitiful pearl. 